I have always wanted to serve because of all the core values that my grandmother put into me. I'm from the South, so all I know to do is just to serve people and give people the opportunity. So that, that's been my inspiration all this time. Yeah, it, it's real important. For many years, you know, I have I've been uneasy even when I was a kid coming through the city. And I never could understand why, you know, we couldn't achieve in all areas, you know, and, and people would just overlook us because we were from the city. So it's important for me to stay local because if I go back to 2006, I had an opportunity to be in McKinney, Texas. Went to the interview, nothing in my hand, took the interview, and they say, hey, I don't want the job. My heart is in Cleveland. My heart is in Cleveland for this reason. You understand? If we don't make a change, if I don't make a change, then who? And then, and then when? You know what I'm saying? So what if I just thought about me and left like everybody else do and not look at all the diamonds, you know, just laying around here that we could take care of? So I, I couldn't do that, you know? And I would never do that, you know? Money is not everything, you know? It's saving lives is everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, to receive a lifetime achievement award means a lot. That means I have lived a lifetime to, to receive a lifetime achievement award. I mean, I've been obedient to, to the gift that God and Jesus left into us, and that means to serve. So that means that I'm being obedient to, the, to, to, to God. It means everything. It means that you can achieve at the highest level. When people doubted you, you know, or put that myth that, that we can achieve, you know, state titles because we're from the inner city, we can put that to rest. You know what I'm saying? That you're smart, you you fundamentally sound, you 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 dedicated, and we, we know that we can play football, but most of all we can be a professional student athlete. It's easy. You know, the kids today is very easy to hum be humble because they don't even know that they don't know how much they really done. You know, the new generation is totally different than some of the old, you know. They just go and do it and this next th next day they just move on. They don't really know the impact of what they really done for this city and for themselves. They don't even understand the history. And that's because of the social uh, media where they just still, uh, they look at so much, they learn it so much, and they don't understand the history and the core values of what they've done, you know. So I just think that they just, they humble because they don't, they don't know. Yeah, well, I think what they're giving to me is obedience, you know what I'm saying? And just being able to believe first and learn later. You know, it's very hard today to teach young people because of all the things that they're being exposed to. But this group of people have proven to me that they are listening and then they understand that they have to learn how to navigate through the world and to learn how to give back to other people. And that's what they have given to me.